Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is now day after Christmas. We're still going strong out there. I had a pretty exciting evening hunt. Stay with me, see how my hunt unfolded. Christmas. Christmas Eve, we had a pretty good snowfall coming in for Christmas morning. It gave us the first white Christmas we've had in our area now for quite some time. Pretty excited about this. Getting into uh, December 26th, we ended up having a, you know clear skies, a high pressure front coming in. We knew this was going to help us. This is going to play to our advantage. You know, ground's covered, food sources are starting to dry up, so it's going to push them up on their feet. We knew that was going to be the case. The evening started out extremely slow. Uh, as expected, like most late season hunts, you usually can't expect to see any action until you know, get in that last hour, maybe even sometimes half hour of daylight before you know, you've done run out of shootable light. Next thing you know. I can hear footsteps coming down off the neighboring property and I see one doe. Next thing you know, here comes a second doe, then a third doe, and a fourth, then a fifth doe coming down the, down the hillside to my feeder. And then eventually a sixth doe came in. So at this point, I'm beyond excited. I am ready to go. I want to get one down on the ground and here we are sitting back.
All right, we're anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes into the six doe coming down off the neighboring property coming into the feeder. At first, I was really excited when I was seeing tier three doe. I'm thinking, okay, I've got really good chances. Then when I end up finding out that we got six does coming into the feeder at once, I'm kind of getting a little nervous at this point. You know, that's a lot of eyes scanning the tree lines, looking around all over the place. Let alone, I noticed really quick that uh, this group of does, they might have been their first time to the feeder, maybe second or third. Um, you know, they were fairly new because they were all pretty skittish, especially as they were getting closer to the feeder, they were not comfortable. Um, and then to top it off, I had a mature doe within this group. Um, and she was uh, hanging back about middle pack. And she's the one really scanning the trees, um, looking around. Uh, she picked me out. She found me. She knew something didn't look right. She started stomping. You know, she was trying to get a reaction out of me. So then it became a good old fashioned stare down, see who was going to win the battle. Uh, you know, this went on for a solid two to three, maybe even five minutes that, you know, she sat there stomping, looking at me, pretending like she was going to look away and then snap her head right back around and look at me. So as she's stomping on the ground, the rest of the does are starting to get kind of nervous, even more nervous than what they already are. You know, they're already kind of skittish to begin with coming in, not knowing this feeder real well and not being there a whole lot. Needless to say, she eventually takes off. Everybody follows suit. At this point, I had an opportunity where I was able to get back to full draw. And I was hanging at full draw for quite some time. You know, obviously anytime you're at full draw, feels like an eternity. Uh, nothing gave me a clear enough shot until right before that mature doe decided enough's enough, I'm gone. As she took off running the one doe that gave me a, a potential opportunity at almost a full broadside shot, she took off running fast enough that I, I didn't have the opportunity to take the shot, not without feeling confident enough that I would make a good hit. So I decided to let off. Uh, you'll see at the end of the video, I didn't get no footage of them necessarily running off, a little bit of frustration on my side. When I let off full draw, I kind of bumped the camera, so I didn't really have any footage to, to show you guys of them, them running off. But overall, a great evening to be out. The high pressure front was in my favor. The snow on the ground was in my favor. They knew that feeder, that food source was there. How often they've been to it, I don't know because of how they acted. It seemed like they were fairly new to, the, to that feeder, to that food source. I hope they come back around again. Um, that's a big group of does. We're pretty confident that they're bedding down over across the property line on a neighbor's property up the hill. Um, but there's no way of trying to get them down to us without them coming down for food. So now we're going to be playing the we're going to be playing the game the rest of the season where everything's going to be based off of weather. We're not going out to hunt just to say we've been out to hunt. We're planning everything according to snowfall, high pressure fronts, the clear skies all that stuff everything's going to play in factor one way or another so the rest of this season hunts will be more farther and few in between but they're going to be more strategic so we hope that uh we hope that this continues to get a, a pretty decent winter we haven't really had that great of a, a winter now for quite a few years so we're hoping that this snowfall continues and give us more opportunities to get out in the tree stand we hope that you do. You guys are enjoying the content we're putting out there. Please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell to receive notifications anytime we put up new new episodes. And uh, you know, just keep getting outdoors. Enjoy the outdoors. Enjoy the time out there. If, you know, you got kids and a family. Take them with you. Enjoy it. You know, it's all we can do at this point with the way the the world is today. It's what we got. So. Everybody stay safe out there. God bless. We'll see you on the next episode.